today let us look at the indian number system and the international number system and the differences between the two as usual let us start with an example of number let us say that the number is 9 lakhs 26532 and i'm going to write the same number here without commas just to explain so this is the number written in the indian number system form and the number written in the international system form which i am coming to shortly so in the indian number system there is units or ones place there is tens place there is hundreds place there is thousands place there is 10000 uh the thousands place there is 10000 place and then there is lakhs place right so you know that this number is written as 9 lakhs 26000 5 and 32 so since the ones tens hundreds thousands tens thousand lakhs are the place values or the places in this number this is how it would be written 9 lakhs 26532 in international uh, system this is a little different the ones tens and hundreds places are the same there is also a comma over here the thousand and 10000 are the same as well but there is no lakhs there is instead 100000 so this particular comma comma is absent the one after 9 and you have in here 100000 instead of lakhs rest is the same so in international system this will be written as 9 100 26000 and 32 again like this six digit number same six digit number only one comma and now the first three digits are you say 100000 instead of lakhs and 10000 so that's the key difference we saw that there are these commas in these numbers like i want to dig little bit just give some terminology around them so when a number is written as let's say that 926532 this particular period is called as ones period this called as thousands and this is called as lakhs so this is in the indian number value system so there is period for ones the last three digits then thousands two digits before that and lakhs one digit before that in the international system this is number will be 926 why you 32 and this number this period is ones period and this period is thousands period so that's why there is no lakhs over here there is only ones and thousands in six digit international system let's take another example the other way around so in indian system let us say that someone gives you a number 9 lakhs and 2 and you have to write it down right so 
given that there is nine lats, I know that it starts with nine, right? There is no tens of thousands, so zero zero, and in the units period there is only two, so this will be zero zero two. So nine lats and two will be nine zero 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 two. In international, the same number will be nine hundred thousand and two. So it will be nine zero 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 zero. Right again, there is only one comma nine hundred thousand nine hundred comma zero zero two. So this is in the international. Let's take one more example. You want to write the other way around. Let's say that you are writing eight zero two three five three. In Indian system, this is going to be written as 8 lats 2,353 so this is in the Indian system in the international system this will be written as eight zero two three five three so it would be eight now remember this is the thousands period in international system so it will be eight hundred and two thousand and three hundred and fifty three so once again the key difference points between the Indian and international systems are in Indian system there is the concept of lats Instead, in international, there is the concept of 100,000, no lats. In Indian system, there will be once period, thousands period and lats period. In international, international, it's going to be once period and thousands period. There is no lats period. So that is the key difference. If you like this video, please subscribe. Details are below. Thank you.